Ralph and Bone Man's Norfolk Fossil Finds. <laughs> God. That is beautiful. Look at that. No way. That's, that looks very much like... Let's get some light on. Okay. Now, last year... I found a horse's ash, a horse astrologer. I found a horse astrolog, astro, horse ast, astragalus. Now I'm not sure on the pronunciation of this, but last year I found a horse astro, I found a horse astragal, astragalus, astrologus. Last year I was lucky enough to find a horse astrologus, or astrolog, astrag. Last year I was lucky enough to find this. No way, that's, that looks very much like an, 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 an astralagus. Very much like an astralagus, but it's a very, very big one. I've got some of these, but they're much smaller. This could be, this could be bison. This is so heavyweight, this could be bison, this could. I'll check this out as soon as I get them, I'm so happy. What a find. If I only find that today, I'll be happy. Yes, this is what I'm saying about. Yeah, that's a little bit. Little old weathered piece of bone. Lovely. Look at that. Or, or antler, should I say? Yeah, it's probably antler. Looks like the bit that was joined to the bit I found last time. Two sections in, and um, what? I tell you, I could have easily turned around and very nearly did, and I have done before. But I mean, that's amazing. 
even better than I thought that. Look at the lines on there, I don't know whether they're due to stress on the, the horse when it was alive. Horse or bison, I should imagine. Beautiful thing. I've got some of these. I've found about three or four of these, but smaller ones. Yeah, I'm now 100% after getting home that this is a bison astrologist. I'm showing you in the diagram there. It's exactly the same. And besides, if you look at this horse astrologist in one of my previous videos, it's a completely different beast. And uh, it's situated uh, on the leg. It's the ankle bone, basically. This diagram shows you where it's positioned on the leg. The special thing today about this hand axe was it's the first time I was on location with the camera and I found the hand axe in uh, actual situation, got it on video. Uh, I didn't do this with my previous hand axes, so it was a really special moment for me. Um, I'm not going to pretend I know lots and lots about hand axes because I don't. I've found four of them, and basically, you know, they date from the Paleolithic. Now, if you look at the Haysbra hand axe, they've dated that from pollen because this was stuck in strata, basically. Um, so they were able to date it, whereas these hand axes have t rolled up from peat deposits from offshore. And there's no way of knowing how old they are. The Haysbra hand axe has been dated to 750,000 years old. The, I mean, the Paleolithic spans from 3.3 million years to 11,000 years ago. Basically, if we're looking along the similar sort of dates as the Haysbra hand axe, this could be anywhere between 100,000 years old and 11,000 years old and is believed to have been made by probably a member of the Homo heidelbergensis species. Uh, however, though, discoveries led to further investigations along the same place where evidence of much older human activity was uncovered. Uh, the remains were discovered of about 80 stone tools, but no hand axes, along with organic remains that tie in with the earliest human remains in Europe found near Spain, of a different species called Homo antecessor or pioneer man and it's now thought that this is the species that resided at Haysborough. Now over to my old friend Phil Harding to get his reaction to my latest hand axe. Not seen him for a while. Hi Phil, got the email? Yeah, just wonder what you thought of my fourth hand axe mate. Hey? Oh, you know, gorgeous. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's hard to put into words how aesthetically pleasing and important, isn't it? These it, it's beautiful. It, you know, and and when you see something like that, mm. you can quite understand how people revered objects like this in the past. Yeah, definitely in that, you know, I I find it so fascinating, mate. Oh, good Lord. I mean, how can you not, you know, be find it interesting? That's right. We value your opinion highly here at Norfolk Fossil Finds, mate. Thank you very much. You're welcome, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> anyway, quick viewer question. A uh, guy wants to know exactly what you felt when you farted accidentally on the pilot episode of Time Team. Great sense of achievement and cracking that one. Thanks for that, mate. See you soon, Phil. Over and out, everybody.